Hello, and welcome to Episode 3 of the Kerbex Interplanetary Space Program. My name is John, and today we're going to be launching the first module of the KSS, our program's first permanent orbital installation. Unlike previous craft featured in the program, this module launches like a traditional rocket. Also unlike previous craft in the program, it's incredibly expensive, over ten times the cost of the shuttle Tidarium, which we recently sent to Duna. Even though the ship's destination is only an orbit around Kerbin, the immense amount of fuel and thrust required drives the expense up considerably. Having safely established an orbit around the planet, the main module of the space station disengages from the launch rocket and its fairings are blown to reveal the sensitive components of the habitat module. With the hub module successfully disengaged, it's time to reveal the utilities arm contained within the structure of the launch rocket. The sensitive components of the utilities arm, especially its solar panel components, would never have survived the atmospheric launch. Fortunately, the structure of the rocket protected them and can now be moved away using a combination of RCS and solid rocket boosters. Now free of its housing, the utilities arm uses a combination of RCS thruster blocks and its own probe cores to assemble itself to the main hub module remotely without requiring extravehicular activity from the station's crew. With constant worrying over angle of approach and the very limited supply of monopropellant available to our RCS blocks, we work very slowly and very carefully to dock the segment of the station with the main module. With the utilities arm secure to the primary module, it's now time to deploy its solar panel arrays. The concept is much the same. Each array has its own probe core and RCS thrusters and fuel supply.
The first panel array takes almost an eternity to dock. Fortunately, after the experience, we're much more sure of ourselves and make a much quicker docking maneuver with the second array. With the solar panel arrays firmly in place, it's time to deploy the primary modules of the station. Due to space concerns and the housing of the rocket, these modules are inflatable and are only activated now that we are safely in orbit. Our inspection begins in the Habitat and Agricultural module, which generates both food and oxygen, as well as housing the maximum crew complement for the station, which is currently 10. A brief inspection of the utilities arm shows that both the water recycling and power generation functions are fully operational. We likewise inspect the docking clamps meant to expand the station with further launches. While this initial module does little more than float in space, it's still a significant advancement for the program. Additional modules for this station will require substantial additional research and funds. And to this end, we will be sending a manned mission to EVE as our next goal and the feature of the next episode of the Kerbex Interplanetary Space Program. My name is John. Thank you for watching. <laughs>